Alright lads, after the absolute decimation I got at the end of last episode, that creature that's running ahead of us just destroyed us. Um, I did lose some progress when I, I decided to reload the game. It was all the way back to the other creature that I fought, so I beat that. And I thought, oh well I want to capture some creatures. It does take a long time to capture creatures in this game. What I've managed to do is I didn't manage to capture another bonehead. But I did try to capture some other creatures in the area. So we've got a we've got a shady, a flower, and a sun. So what I am going to do is I don't know if any of these are any good, but what I do know is that none of them have a good affinity with my characters. So while they're here, I'm just gonna swap out. I'm leveling that up. I want him leveled up, I want the duck leveled up. Who do I think is good? Sun. We've already got a question mark in the duck, so I'll not have the sun. He's a little devil. I think the, the light shades are pretty tough from what I thought. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to go and fight this thing. I, I don't know if I want to be successful, but I've got an idea of how to beat it. I, I, I kind of figured it out at the end of last episode. I just haven't. It's going to be a war of attrition. I just need to keep enough health and do as much damage as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack, run away, attack, run away to make sure I don't get hit with his um, multiple hits. But this, this is the hardest creature I've fought in the game. No bosses have been harder than this guy. I don't know if he's supposed to be that hard or what. Right, I'm going to use... I think this guy was the best. Now hold on. Where's the tactics? Why do I not have ta- Good, I need- what I need to do is, I need to- Whoa! What, killed us already? That's <laughs> fucking killed us already! This cunt's already killed us! Why is this guy so hard? Fuck this. Right, um... Wow. This guy's no joke whatsoever. I, I, what, how was I losing health? What did I lose health from there? I didn't even get into battle until like... I didn't even get into battle for ages. Like, how was I losing health? Jesus Christ. Right, I'm not even going to switch that Pokemon out. Let's just go and fight this guy. This is my goal. We, we probably should be coming back here at a higher level, but let's not be a bitch about it. <laughs> let's not be a bitch. An Adman Tiger, you little bastard. I hope you get the flu, mate. Right. Go with this. We're gonna... Right, so look. Let's just follow... Let's just let this guy chase us. And then only attack it when he's not looking at us. And that's because I want to... See, look! <gasps> I think the reason why we've got low health is maybe... We didn't heal before the battle. Right, okay, let's... Yeah, I think the reason I've got low health is because my characters do have low health before the battle. <laughs> let's... Right, let's, let's, let's try and not be a complete novice at the game. I'm pure shit at this game, aren't I? Quite funny. I'm not that bad. Right, oh yeah, we don't even have... Look, she's, she's got no mana. And I've got no health. Not bothered. Um, question I've got is how close is she to leveling up? She's nearly leveled up, so what we're going to do is want to fight another creature. We'll get her full health and mana, and then we'll heal my guy and then go into battle. We'll just kill this thing here. Right, hopefully she levels up. She didn't level up, she must be a fanny's way away from levelling up. Right, come on then. We'll fight another one. 
We'll go after the sun first because it does big area effect damage. I did also, I know I mentioned at the end of last episode that I was going to check to see if there's any like battle tips or anything. Basically I've looked online and like the general consensus is that you, the battle system is what it is. You can't really get good at parrying, it's just really hard in general so you shouldn't rely on it. Right there we go, we've leveled up, let's save the game and then go in on this creature. Well wait there, we need to heal, don't we? Oh no, we've both pretty much got full health. I'm not going to waste any mana on this because we're probably going to need it in the fight. Right. Come on then, baby. This thing is going down to Chinatown. Come on. Here goes. Here goes. Right, so. We want to just keep... Good defense. Good. He's attacking that thing now, so we can get it in the arse. Right, run away, run away, run away. What the hell? What's happening to us? Good. She's casting spells, so all we need to do is kite. Look, now he's going after her, so we can attack. He's going to kill her? What the f... Bro, this guy just fought too much health. But look, we've done half his health anyway. So we're good. Run away! I'm caught on the edge of the battlefield, like kidding us. Right, wait till he fully recharges, and we're just going to do the hit and run tactic. We should have enough mana to do this. There we go, we just tank them, all we do. Tank and heal, we'll get through this. We gotta get through this. We gotta make, gotta make. Whitley attacks. Oh, he hit us in the arse. Right, let's go for it. We've done him. We're doing him. We're absolutely slaughtering this prick. Got him. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough battle. The guy was absolutely ruthless and he's so fast. Happy days. Fifty-eight experience. I expected more from that battle to be honest. Bounty Hunt complete, report a swift solution to claim your reward. Good, right, so we've got that done, so let's go to the the town. Oh, this banana wants to chase us. And what we'll do is, once we get in the town, we're going to check. Actually, I'll do that now. What? Spite. <gasps> I wish you could... Sinister Spirit is summoned, cursing a single enemy. An eerie voice calls from the beyond, rendering one enemy unconscious. That could be good. If it works 100% of the time. Which I don't think it will. Right, what have you got? Drowsy drops. Sand blast and plasma ball. And you've only got... What's Razzle Dazzle? Blinds an enemy. I don't think I want to use this because I've got the duck as a question mark also. I don't think I want to use any of these. Although, what is that? He's an orange character. Nobody likes. And what weapons does this use? Oh look, this uses claws as well. It does. Headgear. And patches. I don't think we're going to use any of these new creatures, to be honest. I don't think they're... I was kind of hoping they'd have the same affinity as my guys, but they don't. But then again, now that we can capture creatures, maybe... I don't know. Maybe at the end of this episode, I would 
like to go back to the starting areas because there's a couple of creatures that I did like the look of that I want in my party. And then that'll be fantastic. Alma Moon. Also, I think I might wait to go back to the starting areas because there's bound to be a, a fast travel unlock sometime. Well, I hope there is. There was a Nino Kuni 2, you didn't have fast travel straight away, you had to unlock it. So I think we'll just continue with the story. Now, the question is We. What quest did we complete? Yeah, we still need one more plane sword. I think. Tell her the boneheads have been defeated, right? So where's she? Bothersome boneheads. Oh, was that the girl next to the town square? Because I did defeat 10 boneheads. I think I might stop at the inn as well to get rested. Well, I don't need, actually, do you know what? I don't even need to stop at the inn to get rested. The rest that will just heal everyone. Or plenty of mana. There we go. I think it's her. Does she want all the boneheads dead? Yes, I did. Excellent. Now your supplies can get through safely, Mom. Have a nice day. I can't thank you enough. You've saved my livelihood. Oh, nice, we've got a bone sword, which is great, that can be used. And three stamps. Have we completed that stamp now? <gasps> One more. We'll get this, because we've just done the, the bounty missions. She wants to deliver supplies, which I can't do yet. The guy at the back wants curry, he wants curry. That's everyone. You know what it is, I want to go in this shop here to see what she sells, I've actually forgot. Are you the potion shop? Yeah, she just sells ingredients. Ah, ingredients. I've already got a tender beef. I know I need some more of that. None of this is what I need. For the side quest. You probably find the items out in the world. Right then. We did get a bone sword. Who uses swords? I'm going to swap these creatures around anyway. You can go back in that slot, you're quite powerful at level 13. He's got a spear, you've got claws. Does any of these, do any of these use a sword? This thing uses a sword. Oh well. Well that's better anyway. Nice. We just gotta turn in these bounties. I think we get some armor from this. Claim. We get milk chocolate and flame robes. Awesome. Two merit stamps. Oh, wait there. Oh, every time you complete a stamp card, it's ex it's a um you don't just get one st you get more than one. So if you stamp card one gives you one merit, stamp card two gives you two for a total of three. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, because I've I've completed stamp card three, I've completed stamp card two, that's a total of five. Yeah, I don't know. Cards required one. Oh no, it is. Sorry, that was my mistake. It is a. It's a card. One card gives you one thing. Do you know what it is? I'm gonna save up. I'm possibly gonna go for this one. Right, let's go. It was more troubles than they can swallow. Wait there. Do you have any other quest, mate? 
He does. A duel in the desert. A, sh a shinbone shield. A bony beast keeps challenging travellers to duels in the desert. Yes, we will undertake that. Anything else on the board? No. We've already got them all. We haven't seen this one yet, though. The forest dweller. Where is the forest dweller? The rolling hills. Eastern part of the rolling hills. I don't even know where that is. Right. We're going to go and do that bounty hunt. It's probably going to be another hard battle. But I think I'm, I'm men enough. Oh wait there, we need to drop the creatures off at them. It's a shame they don't go straight into this thing, because I'll keep forgetting to drop creatures off. Uh, drop off familiar. Yeah, I, I like my current team actually, I'm going to drop these off, I don't really like them. I'm wondering if the mighty guy, do you know our first familiar? I wonder if that's like a... Because sometimes like your starting familiars are always the best in the game. I'm wondering if he's good, like, like good all the way through because he's, he's pretty much carried us through the game so far. Oh good, he's just north there. I do kind of want to avoid combat, although I could get into a couple of combats because I destroy things now. Maybe if I see any boneheads. Oh, I think it is a bonehead we're fighting, look. I'll avoid that banana. Avoid the banana. It is him, it's him wandering about. I'm probably going to have to get into a different fight though. Oh no, let's do it. No, not yet. Let's save right next to it. In case this guy absolutely tears us a new one. Oh, he's got mates. Come on, you guys. Right, I'm going to take down the mate. Actually, what I'll do is get him out. I'm going to do the area attack spell. I'm actually gonna right attack this guy. The bone, def the bone brigade. Is actually not even hard. He's already dead. Oh, they got wrecked there. Nice. We're gonna get a new shield, which is the first shield I've got in the game, and I'm pretty sure. I think it's the first shield I've got. No, I've got a leather shield so it isn't an upgrade for him. Brilliant. Oh, this thing's gonna catch us. Why on earth would you chase me? You're gonna get slaughtered. Look at the crit damage, 31. What I think I'm going to do, if I can, right, this is this is my plan. I need to give her a familiar that's got buffs. So like attack buffs, defense buffs, and also heals. And then that means she can just buff me and I can just melee everyone to death. This is quite powerful, this little dude. I am tricks. Healing Tia is excellent. Thunder Spark is quite good. A friendly word in eyes ear causes confusion and water damage. I think I'm happy with Thunder Spark because it deals less MP, so that means she's not going to run through her MP. What do you have? Nothing. That's pretty shit at the minute. Do you have anything new? Blunt. 
Ah, not very good either. Does this duck have anything good yet? Body blast. Physical damage. I don't know what curse does. 16... Level 16, I haven't got it yet. We'll get that soon though. Pebble Pelt and Roly Poly. I like the lower MP. Actually, no, let's put Roly Poly on, we'll give it a shot. Right then. I, 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 I keep getting confused at the controls. There's the map. All the way in the bottom left. Oh, that's right, we're going to the volcano. Right then, we're going to head straight to the volcano now. I'm going to quickly stop off at the town to get my new shield. And then we'll continue on our journey. Oh, look, there's items here. Oh, this will be another spring water because we picked up one of these last time. That's good, we know where to get that from now. The bounty mushroom the bounty mushrooms. The bounty missions are definitely worth doing. They give you some good equipment early on. Actually they're good for money as well. I've really got five grand, that's awesome. Well, four thousand five hundred. Right bro, we've got you a new shield. Does anybody else use shields? No, just him. Oh, that's good. Pent up energy pummels a single enemy. Cutloose is really good for area effect. Oh, he's got Roly Poly as well. Do you know what it is? Let's. But. I don't know the the. I wish it would show you direct I, exactly how your your abilities appear on the menu. Because I want it to go cut loose, then smash it and fling flame. But at the minute, I have to cycle through the menu to the end to get cut loose. I, I don't want that. It's little things in design that, that gets overlooked in games and it's really important. Especially when you want to be like efficient in battle. Come on then, we're heading to the volcano. Whoa, damn, look at this girl. Hey now. Got to take right out. <laughs> this is a kid's game, son. Right then, Lava Land. So we've got to try and put the boulder back into the, the volcano. I want to fight this bonehead simply because I want to catch her another one. Since I lost it after I died at the end of the last episode. Come on! Here goes. Here goes. Oh, he's running away! Don't run, my friend. We did it. Well, we didn't get a chance to love them. Little creatures love me so I can capture you and put you into a lifelong eternity of slavitude. Oh, these are nightmares. These. Actually, I've still never caught one of these. These might be good. The Clubber Cubs, even though I don't like the look of it. In other words, I wouldn't even use it in my party anyways because it looks hideous. We did it. As well, I know I was looking at my abilities on some of my familiars. I 
one of my, a couple of my familiars have got the sleep ability. I don't think the sleep ability is... It, it could be good. I don't think it's going to be that good because I think like in some games, if you get hit while you're asleep, you wake up. So it's not as if you can put someone to sleep then absolutely wail on them. I don't think it works like that. It's more like taking someone out of battle while you attack another creature. It might be good for boss battles, but we'll see. That spell, that thunder spot that that little creature uses is really powerful. It seems to destroy a lot of enemies in the game. There's like, like over half health on them. Look at that! Can you see that creature to the the far left hand side of the screen? Oh, it's just a turban head. Have I got one of them? Oh yes, I already caught one of them, didn't I? It was part of a side quest. I caught the bananas and the turban guy. Oh, what are these? Oh, these look cool. I want this creature that's in front of us. Oh look, there's a bug, a bugly boo. We had a choice of fighting one of them. Sorry, we had a choice of getting one of them. Um, free from the the trials guy. I might, I would like to capture one to see if it's any good. What did it have? I think it said it had high magic attack in fast speed, maybe, boogly boo. I don't want the sun, I don't, I'm not interested in fighting the suns because I've already captured one and I don't really like it. Oh, it's fighting us. Fight me then! I quite like the look of the small fry to be honest. What a shot! And again! Oh look 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 look! Love it! Show it some love quick! Oh we're gonna capture a small fry off and a sunshine! Can we capture them both? Oh no I don't want the sunshine actually. I don't want it. I don't want it. Do we just have to attack it? Oh, run away. Awesome. Yeah, I want to keep the small fry. Bernie Boo. I'm just going to call him Fry. Fry Light. <laughs> he needs some Fry Light. Yeah, man. Where's the F? Where's F? Oh, there it is. Frylight. <laughs> yes. Frylight's now your familiar. Okay. Yeah, I, I normally, like I said before, I normally keep um, creatures' names just the same as what they are in game, but in this, they don't get names that are what the creature is. For example, that's called a Mighty Might, but his name is just Mighty. That's called a. That's a Drongo, and it's actually called. I don't know. Hi. That's the Drongo, and it's actually called Gogo, so. We'll just name them whatever we feel. Right, what does this have? Movement speed and attack speed. I'm not sure I really like it. But wait there, what is it? It's not our affinity. Okay, I'm not going to use it. 
I'm just trying to keep an eye off her. I want this boogly boo. We'll attack that first. Oh, jab to death. Oh, we got it. Fucking hell. Yeah. Do you know how I said that capturing creatures is really hard? Like, honestly, when, when I was playing this off camera for about half an hour, it, well, half an hour to 45 minutes, it took ages to just get anybody to, like, be captured. Then again, I suppose it is random. Randomness sometimes works in your favour and other times it doesn't. I probably should save the game and stop capture two creatures that I wanted. Please let the Boogly Boo be have an affinity with my guy. Big Banana leveled up. Yes. We'll just call him Boo. Boggly. Actually, Boggly is a good name. I like Boggly. Oh, it's a, it's a little red devil as well. No good. It is no good. Oh, I've got the spicy seeds. That's what we, we need for the quest to make the curry. Oh, what's this? A little big horn. That looks awesome. He looks like the Giver. Oh, he didn't like us enough to let us capture him. I want one of them. It looks like intense. Right, we're looking for. Oh, what's going on here? Probably going to be a boss battle. More spicy seeds. Do we need... Oh my, look at that river of lava. Hey, don't you know a spell which could get us across? I think I do. Don't know what it is, but I'll take, give it a shot. Bridge, there we go. I didn't even know I had this, actually. I think the the trials guy gave us it. Bob's your auntie. There's loads of items. Oh look, there's another one. I want that creature. Come on. It, you know what is that that's like a design of a Pokemon. I'm sure there's a Pokemon that looks like that. Come on, baby, show me some love. No. Whack, 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 whack. I think I want to change my tactics. I want her to stop using mana for now. Because look, she's she's very low on it. We can only change that in combat, can't we? Come on then bro, fight me. Fight me to my face. Oh nice, there's another one. Right, wait there, we need to learn how to change tactics. I, I forgot how to do it. Well, you just keep on fighting that. Tactics. Right, Esther, I want you to don't use abilities. Save your mana. Come on. 
Oh, I think, yeah, we're not having much luck with that. <laughs> the one creature that I've seen in the game that I want. <laughs> it's just becoming so difficult to fight. Well, sorry, to capture. Which way are we going? Ah, look, there's an item here. A bean flower. So this is it. We at, boom, pardon me. Are we at the summit? The summit wrong. <laughs> The Molten Mountain. Well, this is old smoky jeep as the whole mountain is on fire. Wow, I've always seen it from town, but I've never been this close before. Well, don't stand there gawping. It isn't exactly what you might call safe around here. That's why people and fairies tend to stay clear. And anyway, us lot give a wide berth. You can bet beasties will be flipping. Beasties will flip and love. Brace yourselves, we're in for a bumpy ride. Watch out for the lava, Oliver. I don't even a wizard could survive falling into that. I'll be careful, mate. There's inspirational. Tidy, let's crack on then, shall we? Don't stop till you reach the top. Now. We're, we're gonna get. Oh, look, we can deposit creatures here. I'm going to switch the familiars round. That's level. Oh, that is high level 17. What's the defense on that? 49, 52. 56, 77 physical. I'm going to swap these guys out. This banana thing is quite powerful. Switch with that. Just because I'm, I'm, I'm going to save all my mana and go through here just physically. But I'm going to try anyway. What the hell is that? It's like a devil. A shrimp healer. <laughs> a shrimp healer. I like it. Yeah, look, that big banana thing. Oh, it's really slow to attack though. Why has she got go go out? We did it. I think the only way to get your companions to use a, a familiar that you, you want to use is to just... Oh look we got a star drop from him! It's to just remove all the familiars from the inventory but then you don't get experience. So... Tricky situation. We're heading up so let's take a right. I prefer to heal after battle rather than in battle, unless it's a hard fight. I think it's more effective use of mana that way. Oh, hello there! Not powerful, of course it's not powerful enough. Come on baby, come on baby! I got him. Oh, I want to capture both of these. Go on, big banana. Punch its head in. No joy. No joy again. I do really enjoy monster collecting games, it's just, I love Pokemon Red and Blue, 
phenomenal games and I really enjoyed Nexon 1 Extinction which I played last year. That was excellent. Another moon, well a moon drop. So this might loop around. I hope it does, I don't want to miss anything. Maybe this is the right way. Oh, what the fuck's that? Is that one of them dog things we've seen at the start of the game? It is, it's a ruffian. We can do this! Get wrecked, mate. Oh, that. Did it just fire a laser beam up with space? Whack, 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 whack. Will you stop getting your duck out, mate? I want your bananas. <laughs> Get your banana out, mate. How are you? Hey, this is good for farming those, like, level up, those of evolution things. Now, let's take a left and see if we can loop back round for any items. I want all your secrets. You know what it is? I don't think this loops back round. But we might as well go here since we're here anyway. We're, under attack. we're not. These are weak. I've just realised how that fire attack works. It does really low damage in the beginning two ticks, and then at the end before it finishes, it does big damage. So if you get out of the way, you won't take as much damage. That's good information. Surprise bomb sex. Now give me my loot. A sandwich. I'm always disappointed when I open a chest and it's a fucking sandwich. A phoenix feather. Come on, let me open this, please. Yes! Oh, I forgot about that, man. That means we... I forgot to equip them flame robes that I got. On the bounty hunt, now I've got two sets. You can't wear them. Miss robes. Oh, that's superior. Aha. So he can only wear patches. I need to get some patches. I think they're in the shop, but they're like 300 or 400 quid each. I might buy some if I don't get them by the end of this quest. Okay, we're gonna head back round now. Because I've missed a section there, which is a shame. I thought this was gonna loop round. It doesn't matter at all. It's all experience. It's all XP, baby. Oh, nice. We need to fight this big horn thing anyway. Come on, give me that little big horn. I want to get leveled up. It looks mint. Did 
you know what? I think you know the reason why I like the little big horn. It reminds me of a video I've seen on YouTube on Dark Souls where people just beat the game with dual dual wheel shielding. <laughs> Looks like it's it looks like it's playing Dark Souls like an idiot with dual shields. That is just top tier that. Brilliant. <laughs> I think that that's the beauty of of how big gaming is now and like how accessible getting information out into the world is, is you just get some awesome ideas that people execute, it's just hilarious. Oh, look at that! A hover balloon? Oh, give me that one, baby. It looks a bit shit, to be honest, doesn't it? Is it just me, or does the banana, does Big Banan? keep hunting down the orbs that drop. I mean, I suppose that's a good thing, but I'd rather I'm just actually hit the target. This way and follow it right. Oh, look, that's another one of them robots, but we don't know what to do with them yet. Here we, here we go. I'm feeling lucky, come on baby. Maybe not. I spoke too soon. I'm not lucky at all. Finish him! A planet drop. Big bananas leveling up. Any chests? All this way for nothing. Do you reckon the heat got to it? No sense in doing anything. Puppets. Breathes lives into brooms, cloud sweepers, and other brush like objects. Okay, so we can't do anything with that yet. Shame. That is a shame. Should I go back down and save it? Nah, let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Come on then. I'm risking it for a chocolate biscuit. If I die, I'm not going to be best pleased. It doesn't matter which one we attack. Do you know what? I, I, I thought that the first person you attack in combat is the one that's most likely to be charmed at the end of combat. It doesn't work like that because we've just discovered that you can charm them even if it's the last creature in combat. Because we got two. We got the sun and the boogly boo, didn't we? In one battle. Although I rejected the sun because I've already got one. Right mate, you're coming with me, you're going to get kidnapped. Oh maybe not, again. I forgot to move out the way of the fire. Looks like right it is. Now 
Nice, I think we got it. Oh, this is a bit weird. I've never noticed that animation before, is it just me? Nice surprise attack. Come on, you guys. Here goes. Surprise attacks are really powerful because the enemies don't attack for ages. What the hell is that? That was one huge tremor. Oh niggas. What's wrong Mr Drippy? The big one is on its way. I can feel it in my lap and this old boy's about to blow. You can really tell? Of course I can. I'm Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. We need to hurry, let's stop it. We'll be toast if we don't. Come on, to the top with you. To the top. Let's avoid that fight. Oh, maybe not. We cannot avoid this demon. What is this demon on the side of the mountain? It looks like a little... Little ship. We won all right, we destroyed. Heal and touch is an excellent spell. Oh look, there's one of them stupid balloon things. <laughs> What's he called? A huffing balloon or something. Huff a balloon. Let's go. But the little bighorn is priority. I still want to get... I want the... Ouroboros, because it reminds me of Resident Evil 5, but it's all the way back to this. Oh, look, 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 look! We got it! Show it some love! Nice! I've got it, I've got it! Awesome! Please let it have like, a good affinity with us. Right, let's check this bad boy out. We are gonna have to level it up though. Crispy lettuce on the side of a lava mountain. Damn right it's gonna be crispy, it's gonna be dust. Biggs. Nah, he's not called Biggs, he's called a... Uh... Biggie. <laughs> Call this guy Biggie. Right, aim, um, confirm. Biggie mate. Right. Oh look! He's, a, he's the natural affinity with Oliver. Happy days. What, what does he use? He uses blades. Shields. Oh he uses exactly the same as what Mighty does. Okay. I'll give him the subpar equipment for now, our spare stuff. And I'm actually going to swap him out for. I feel bad because this shonky is like. I love the way it looks, but. It's just not very good. It's got high magical attack, actually. It 
might actually be good for her. I mean... Unfortunately, I think the duck's going to have to go in the... Yeah, we're going to have to sideline the duck for now. Right, you're going to go in second place. No, you're going third place. Just because if, if he goes down, I need to use him to attack. And he's the only one I've got at the minute that can do that. So I might get the duck back out, but for now, he's on the, on the sideline, which is a shame. Right, let's go. I want to get one of them ruffians as well. I think that might be a, a good one. Well, I'm getting tortured here. Yeah. I'm just tanking the hits because it doesn't make a difference. I've got so much like mana. Well, I recover my mana in combat with the orbs, and then I just heal after combat, which means I'm not like losing. Anything, you know what I mean? I thought I do always like to have good physical damage, non mana usage characters in the game, in games I play. Just I, I, I don't like relying on mana in, in mana management. It's it's never been fun for me. So we should get up to level 3 with our biggie. Oh no, but yeah, level 5 already. Awesome. I was, I was wondering what the fuck this little creature was doing, it just stood there looking at us. It must take a while before you can come out of combat and go back into combat again. Yeah, the banana, banana is really good. It's a bit slow to move about the battlefield, but it's, it's a bit of a tank. And she seems to be using it more often. Where the hell am I going here? Wait there, is that a... Have I missed a road here? I think I've missed a road down there, but... Fuck. Have I not? I can't really see. It reckons on that corner there, there's a road up. I don't... Oh, there is, look! How sneaky is that? Yeah, there's a road down there. Right, let's just avoid combat if we can. How sneaky is this? And there was a chest. If this is a sandwich, I'll fucking kill myself. Ooh, 
a burn and blade well worth it I suppose it's not gonna be very good for this guy because we're fighting fire creatures I suppose it's plus 15 but fire damage right let's not put that on him because I think that might be detrimental to us because these things are gonna be resistant to fire so what we'll do is we'll put it on this guy Nice! Fuck. I thought I'd be able to sneak past him, but no dice. Come on. Here goes. Yes, but that. This guy shooting laser beams out with space. Oh, look, there's one of them gold things. Too late. Every time I've had one of them gold things aside from out of the tutorial, it's always happened after everything's dead. <laughs> you can't even use it. Or maybe one other time I used it. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Can we just avoid this? I've got to admit, I'm kind of disappointed with the combat system. It might be because I'm still at the start of the game, but I don't know. I think I think Nino Kuni twos was better. I still kind of feel I'm in the the infant stage of the game, though. So we're still getting tutorials at the end of the day. Let's avoid this. Oh, I don't, well, we're not going to get to avoid this, are we? I think there's too many battles. Let's do it. Here goes. I don't think in instanced areas like this, things you fight should respawn. Yes, on the overworld, I understand. But not in these areas. I think it makes it too much of a funny about to explore. Oh, nice. Well, there's a save point. I'll tell you what we can do. I think we'll save it here, call it an episode. And when we continue, we'll get to the top of the mountain and find out what to crack a lot in. Did that save? Yeah, it did. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one where, um, where I imagine we're going to fight a boss. See you there, lads.